Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. In this video, we will show you how to set up the Davis Vantage View Outdoor Sensor Suite and Indoor Console. Set up in the following order, by first attaching the wind cups, then the wind vane, rain collector, debris screen and then apply power. You will need the included Allen key. First, place the wind cups onto the anemometer shaft. Press down as far as it will go. Use the Allen key to tighten. Ensure the set screw is screwed in entirely and is tight. Spin the wind cups to ensure they spin freely. Next is the installation of the wind vane. On the shaft there is a flat side. This will need to line up with the flat side on the wind vane. To do this you will need to orientate the station so that the radiation shield is facing towards you and is on the left. Then face the arrowhead pointing down and slide the wind vane into place. Rotate left and right if necessary. When installed properly, the shaft should be protruding slightly from the bottom of the wind vane. Then tighten the set screw with the Allen key. The third part to attach is the tipping bucket. This simply slots into place on the base of the unit. Insert the wider end first and then fit the narrow end, then screw into place. Then install the debris screen. This is located in the hardware package. This simply clicks into place within the rain funnel. To apply power, unscrew the battery cover on the base. Remove the pull tab covering the battery. To verify power, wait 30 seconds, then press the white transmitter button once. The green LED transmitter light will then flash. Do not hold down or press the button multiple times. Then replace the battery cover. To make setup easy, both the console and sensor suite are set to the default transmitter ID of 1. If you would like to check the outdoor sensor suite channel, push and release the ID button on the base. It will illuminate and then go off when you release it. After a short pause, it will blink between 1 to 8 times. The number of blinks indicates the channel. So here we are on channel 1. And that's the outdoor station set up, now it's time to set up the indoor console. The first step of setting up the indoor console is powering it up. You can power it by using the adapter, C-cell batteries or both. Using both is a great backup for power outages. To install the batteries, turn over and remove the rear cover. Insert the batteries, observing the polarity, then replace the cover. The device will beep three times as it's turning on. If you choose to plug the device into mains, the included adapter is inserted on the right hand side. 
When the device turns on, you will enter setup mode. There will be 18 screens to scroll through. The first is a time and date setting. The left and right arrow keys jump between the hour and minute segments, where the plus and minus keys adjust the values up and down. You can also jump between 12 and 24 hour time by pressing the second and then units key. Repeat the action to switch back. Press done after each step to move on to the next screen. The next is time zone setting. This shows the major cities. Press the plus and minus keys to cycle through. Select your city and then press done. Number three is daylight saving settings. Most of the United States, Canada and Europe should be able to use the auto setting. Outside of these zones should use manual. Press the plus or minus key to select and done to move to the next screen. Next is daylight savings. Use this screen to either verify the correct automatic daylight savings status or to set daylight savings manually. If using auto daylight savings selected in the previous step, the console will display the appropriate setting. If manual is selected, press the plus or minus keys to turn daylight savings on or off on the appropriate days of the year. The fifth screen will display receiving from. This will show the ID number of any transmitted being covered by your console. Wait a moment for all the stations to display. Make a note of the station number or numbers listed on the screen, then press done. Screen six allows you to change the ISS transmitter ID and to add or remove optional transmitter stations. The default ID setting is one view ISS, which is appropriate for most installations. The console can take data it receives and retransmit it to other Vantage View or Vantage Pro 2 consoles. For a standard setup, toggle off and press done to move on to the next screen. The next three screens are latitude, longitude and elevation. You can use Google Maps, atlases or local maps to find this information. A tip to help you find elevation, change Google Maps to terrain view. Press the left and right arrow keys to move between fields and the plus or minus to change the settings up or down. Press done to move on to the next screen. This screen is a barometric reduction setting. This indicates the method by which barometric pressure is to be determined and calculated. The default is NOAA. You can choose between NOAA, altimeter setting or none. Once selected, press done to move on. This is the rain collector setting. It is factory calibrated and the typical user can skip this screen. Select the beginning of the rain season that is local to you. The date the rain season begins affects yearly rain rate highs and lows as well as totals. Press the plus and minus keys to toggle through months and then press done once selected. Screen 15 and 16 lets you determine the temperature base for cooling and heating degree days. 
A cooling degree day is used to determine the amount of energy or fuel used to keep your home or business cool. A heating degree day is used to determine the amount of energy or fuel used to keep your home or business warm. Press second and set and the current value of 15 degrees will appear. Use the arrows to select the segment of the value and press plus or minus to adjust. Press done when finished and repeat the same to set the heating degree day value. The last two screens are commentary and key B. Commentary refers to the extra information and comments on current weather conditions that display on the console. You can turn this on or off. The last step is the key beep. You can turn this on or off. Pressing done again will take you back to the start of the settings. To exit settings and enter measurement mode, press and hold done for about five seconds. Wait for the console to correctly connect you to the outdoor sensor suite. This may take a minute. Weather data from the outdoor sensor suite is now displaying on the console. Now you can see the time, date, indoor humidity and temperature, outdoor humidity and temperature, barometric pressure, rainfall, dew point, wind speed and direction, and more can be accessed through the keyboard. And that's how to set up the outdoor sensor suite and indoor console for the Davis Vantage View weather station. If you would like to see any particular how-to or troubleshooting videos on the Davis Vantage View or any other equipment, let us know. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.